Hey Logo Designers, today I'd like to show you how you can customize the file and folder names of your logo packages. So inside of the settings page, we have a naming tab. And the naming tab is where you're going to have all the options to customize your file and folder names. The first few options you're going to see are the ability to change the file name structure. So do you want dashes between the words? Do you want underscores? Do you want to capitalize all of the words? All of these things are adjustable now inside of Logo Package Express. I prefer lowercase with dashes, so that's how I'm going to set up my package. Next up is folder naming. Folder naming has all of the same options that file naming did. So maybe you want to have underscores and lowercase. But again, in this case, I prefer to capitalize my folder names and to have spaces between them. So I'm going to stick with the defaults. Next up is all of the words that make up both the file names and the folder names. And they are all totally customizable and you can put in whatever you would like. So I'm just going to make some changes to show you how this works. First, you may have noticed over on the left that we have removed the artboard titles from every single artboard. And now it is simply the columns and the rows that are receiving the labels. So what's really cool is as you start to change some of these options for the names of the words here, you will see those reflected in real time on the pasteboard. Let's say that you wanted to call your logo an emblem instead. And maybe your logo mark is more of a monogram. Okay, well, I have input these new names and sure enough, over on the left-hand side in the pasteboard, you see now that the labels say emblem with tagline, emblem, monogram, whatever you would like. And let's say that you don't even like with, you can change that as well. So let's make that plus. And now your files say, emblem plus tagline, logo type plus tagline, so on. And there are many, many options here, but one more commonly requested change is instead of having reverse or one color, a lot of people think it's easier to have white or black. So I've input those names and you can see over on the left now that the black logos are titled black and the white logos are titled white. So now let's see how this translates into our export. So I'm going to export these logos and you will see that as the file and folder names start coming in, that all of our changes have been applied to both the folders and the file names and everything is exactly the way we want it, totally customized for our clients. You'll see emblem, you'll see black, you'll see white, everything that you customized exported and ready to go. And that's how you customize file and folder names inside of Logo Package Express.